Peter and I traveled in the same general circles since I moved to Vancouver, but we got to know each other personally when I was the president of the Vancouver Community Network, better known as VCN, and he was the coordinator. We had long conversations about our respective titles where we worked, me at Pavnet and he at VCN. We were both adamant that we were not EDs, executive directors, and I'm not sure he ever quite forgave me when I had to change my title to executive coordinator to distinguish my job from my coworkers. As we met regularly about VCN's work, I began to realize what an important person he was in the community networking movement. Peter was a true grassroots community organizer. He had always been a solid and steadfast advocate for people and organizations in the nonprofit sector. He supported services such as setting up public access sites, teaching both individuals and community groups how to use the internet, email, and how to use other VCN tools. He found allies in government who would support VCN's goals and objectives. He also fostered partnerships with municipal governments, public libraries, and other community supporters of VCN's vision. He worked with like-minded people in the BC Community Network Association across the province. When Povnet moved its website and other online services to VCN, because we wanted to support the local Freenet, Peter was a rock, as we sometimes floundered while we were setting ourselves up. He provided the liaison between VCN's techies and Pavnet staff. He understood the importance of Pavnet to the advocates and community workers to whom we provided services, recognizing that we were working for access in the same communities. Although I'm sure he wasn't always glad to hear from me first thing on a Monday morning, asking him if he could please get our email list back up and running right away. The board of VCN has recently nominated Peter for the 2010 John Webb Community Champion Award. The award is to honor people who share the same values and determination that John had when it came to community networking. John always stood up for the underdog and looked for common sense solutions that are needed when working with computers. Peter walked that talk. He was a patient and thorough teacher. He was always able to explain technology and lay language to people who didn't know the jargon. I continued to benefit from those skills until he died. When I was off from work last year, he was an invaluable ear as I talked about the book I'm writing about Pavnet, struggles with funders, and how to report to yet another board of directors. He always had good advice, and, was, and I was always sorry if I didn't follow it. Uh, I will miss Peter. He was my friend. The community networking movement in British Columbia and across the country will miss him too. But he has left a strong legacy both at VCN and with the other community groups who have been lucky enough to have had him in their orbits.